So STEM is an acronym that stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics. And it's essentially a curriculum that is integrated in the classroom. And by itself, it may be just a series of courses, but that and together with CTE, Career and Technical Education, it provides the solid foundation for a student to be able to successfully prepare themselves for the future. Sometimes you're not going to see uh, STEM as, as something that's real evident. Whether it's a welding competition or a cabinet making competition, take a look at the cabinet makers that are out there and the math that they have to go through to come on angles, etc., and make that kitchen look like it's supposed to. You might not see it, but it's behind the scenes. STEM is linked directly into all these technical groups. Like metaphors, think about it as a tree. You can't have a tree without the trunk. So STEM education, science, technology, engineering, mathematics, is that solid foundation in the trunk in a tree. And from that tree, you have your branches and all the different careers that could come from it. Technical drafting, culinary arts, computer animation, construction. It's the foundation of the skills that you'll need to be able to pursue a career in the future. I'm Nick Peterson. I am a welding engineer and a curriculum developer for Miller Electric Manufacturing Company. I also teach at Arizona State University a welding survey course to mechanical and manufacturing engineers. By being able to take metal shop in high school, my teacher there said, you know, you got a knack for welding. Maybe you should take it at the Career and Technical College during your high school days. And I'm like, oh, that's cool, because half my day, I'm not going to be here. I'm going to be out there welding. Welding is an amazing career opportunity, and it's taken me to places I never imagined. And an organization like Skills USA, without being involved in that, I have no idea where I'd be in life, because I actually got a $40,000 scholarship to go to college because I was a welder in high school. We continue to see an increase in competitive salary in STEM um, programs or STEM trades and with um, people graduating with a two-year degree making fifty, sixty, seventy thousand dollars The opportunity for excellent pay in those environments is uh, really, really clear at this time and it's not going to change. There's certainly a need as our baby boomers age and age out of this profession for young people to be interested in making that career shift. Skills USA from the start has always been a national nonprofit organization supporting students in career technical education courses. Now what's so great about that is that since science, technology, engineering, mathematics is so well integrated in CTE, you see it everywhere from culinary arts to computer drafting, everywhere STEM education and CTE are two pieces of the puzzle that are creating a stronger workforce in the future. This is what we're talking about. We're talking about having real world uh, work that represents things that you can do with life. These folks just came out of all the fabrication competition. And this is what it looks like to do hard work. This is hard work with the brain, yes, but they're using their brains too. And they're using their hands to, to command what their brains tell them to do and do the things they need to do. They fabricate things for you in your homes and your farms, etc. So just because someone wears a suit doesn't mean they're any smarter than somebody that ends up with a, a welding suit on and dirt on your face. See the smile on his face? That's what it's about, right? So don't discount each other for the hard work that we do. Uh, and make sure that you take care of yourselves by having a skill so you become gamefully employed by